Hey guys, it's Blyboy, and today we'll be going over Gunslinger Spawn. And we're going over the character because, one, I absolutely love Spawn comics. They have a whole different tone to them than Marvel or DC. Like, if you've never read them, I highly suggest you go read them. But Gunslinger Spawn is fixing to get his own series. Now, I absolutely love Spawn, as I just said. Spawn is an awesome comic series. For anyone who has not read it, you gotta read it. But we're going over this character in honor of his new series being released and so I can catch people up on who exactly Gunslinger Spawn is. So Gunslinger Spawn first appeared in issue 119 of Spawn Comics. However, his backstory wouldn't be told until issues 174 and spanning into 175. In this story, we begin with a man named Henry Simmons who is in the 10th Cavalry and he and his group they go into town because someone has killed one of their members and they want justice. Well, things don't go right and a firefight breaks out in a saloon, causing just chaos. So, him doing the only thing he knows what to do, he runs away. While he's running away, he runs into a man on a horse who wears, who wears white. And he follows this guy thinking it'll lead him to Talbot. Instead, it leads him to a cabin where a whole family has been slain. And then, the marshal and the sheriff show up. And they have the place surrounded with their guys. And they pretty much tell him, look, like, we know you didn't kill this guy, but we're still taking you in because you did desert the cavalry back at that town back there in Texas. We heard about that. So we're going to take you in and we'll turn you over to the military tomorrow. So they take him to this jail where we meet up with this guy named Jeremy Winston, or as they call him, Old Job. And Job is a preacher whose family was actually the father of the family that was slain. Well, the dad of that family. And what we find out is this gang, led by this guy named Kemper, showed up wanting the land. And, well, old Job, he wasn't going to give it up without a fight. And he leaves, and his wife tries to protect the children and everything, but they are sadly killed. And this pisses off Job to a point where he goes off on a vendetta and kills some of Kemper's men, which ends up getting him arrested. After old Job tells Henry his story, um, the man in white appears to them and offers them a deal. He, you know, he goes over to Henry and offers him a deal, but he doesn't offer Job a deal. And that's because Job thinks this guy is crazy and doesn't think this guy is actually going to offer him something. But in reality, this guy is Maimon, one of the many demons in the Spawn universe. And he pretty much goes over to Henry and offers him, like, look, I can get you out of jail. I can get you back to your loving wife. All you got to do is sell me your soul. Now, Henry being a smart man, unlike a lot of people who sell their souls to the devil in comics, he decides not to do it. And so, you know, he's like, you know what, you probably should take the deal because I hear death and knocking. Because, you know, Kemper's gang, they're coming for both y'all. And that's what happens. Kemper's gang, you know, they come for him and they take him to be hung. Now, the city can't do anything about this and old Job's pissed off as crap. Henry Simmons shouldn't even be there in the first place because he's supposed to be turned over back to the military. So it's basically an old public lynching is what it is. And that's when old Joe kind of realizes, like, this guy was the real deal. That was actually a dude offering me something. So he says, I'm going to kill every last person in this city. I'm going to get my vengeance. And he says, you know what? I'll take your offer. And that's what he does is he takes the man in white's offer. And the man in white, he keeps his part of the deal. However, old Job is still hung and he ends up dying. But Henry Simmons ends up living because it seems the man in white has other motives. Because he manipulates one of the gunmen and makes them end up shooting the rope that's hanging him. Which ends up freeing him and making him live. After all this, at the morgue, the body of old Job reawakens and his skin is no longer looking normal. It looks more hellish because he has just become a hell spawn. And the man in white walks in and tells him, you know, that skin fits you pretty well. And old, old Job cares about it, getting his vengeance. And the man white tells him, look, you got 24 hours to kill as many people as you want in this place. Then it's Vinny to do whatever I tell you. And that's exactly what he does. First, he stops at the saloon where he ends up killing some of Kemper's men. And he reveals himself in this awesome thing where he just drops the dude's face onto the table, scaring the crap out of everyone, causing a complete, you know, old-fashioned cowboy bar fight. Which, there's no point in using guns against this guy. It does nothing. But during this commotion, he killed a bunch of Kemper's men. Kemper runs off 
out of the saloon while the bartender tries to hold this guy off. And again, a shotgun does nothing to him either. People around the town start getting worried because there's this weird green fire flying out of the saloon. And so the sheriff and Henry Simmons, they jump into action trying to stop this guy from doing any more damage. But there's no point, like I said. Kemper tries to throw dynamite at him, but, you know, Spawn catches it and then shoves it in Kemper's mouth, causing his head to blow clean off. And then he jumps down, killing the sheriff, and is about to kill Henry Simmons when he's stopped by the man in white who tells him, no, I have reason for this man to live. And so Henry Simmons, you know, he's spared. And we don't know why yet, but we soon find out after Gunslinger, you know, he puts him in a casket and pushes him down the river where he's then met with the man in white. And he asks the man in white, like, I thought you could say there could only be one hell spawn a generation. And the man in white replies with, yeah, that's true. But you carry the seed for one of the greatest spawns to, that is coming. And this one is revealed this is the great grandfather of Al Simmons, who is the main spawn. And, yeah, that's pretty much the origin of Gunslinger Spawn. And like I said, I went over this character because the new series Gunslinger Spawn comes out today. And I'm excited for it. So, I thought I'd just go over the character to catch everybody up and get everybody ready for it. But, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.